Reincarnation, the experience of going past. How long have you wondered if you have memories of past lives within you? How many ideas have you believed or doubted? If you're like I once was, you've been tottering on a seesaw between belief and doubt for a long time. You've been looking for a way to prove you've lived before, but have wondered how to do it. This series is intended to help you discover just how much past life recall you might really have, and how to decipher it. Why do I say decipher? Because past life recall rarely takes the form of memory. It's hidden inside of us in preferences, habits, and what an old acquaintance once called the things that resonate within us. Things that strike us and set us to ringing as if we are bells. But most of the time, you don't know why. I had past life recall from the time I was a toddler, but I was 50 years old before it all started making sense. I had no persona to hang the memories on, except for guesses I made along the way. And most of those guesses were wrong. In a couple of cases, I actually danced around the real life, afraid to go for the most obvious thing. I was scared. But I still believed enough to start collecting bits of memories, dreams, even just the bell chimes. And finally, as I tell in The Waterhouse Witch, all the puzzle pieces began to fall in place. I want to share with you what I learned along the way. All the answers are within your own mind. It can hide clues in some of the most obvious places around you and within you. You just have to turn around and look. However, it helps to know what to look for, and that's where I think I can help you. In this series, we're going to discuss several kinds of recall, only a few will involve recognizable memory. So be prepared to put aside your ideas of what past life recall is like and get ready to chime like a bell. <laughs> 